Like, I could hear you right now through the telecommunication links. Ugh, gross. She's fucking ugly and this and that. Thank God I'm ugly. Thank God I'm ugly to you. Thank God I'm not sexy to none of you. And thank God and praise God that you guys don't think I'm pretty. You know why? Because you guys ain't worth it. You guys don't deserve sex. You guys don't even deserve a good girl or a sexy one in your life. You guys are really bad men. And you guys don't deserve to be glorified for it or... Or rewarded for being how you guys are in Brighton and how you need other people to think you're good and yet you make it look like you are and then professional my ass not professional at all you know and it's crazy because you know what I never never disrespected any of you until after some someone comes to me and tells me or came to me and tells 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 me what you guys are doing like Leah they're just using you like you know and whatever it is they said and it flipped me out and I flipped out and it was yeah it's very very hurtful because it's like when it's an eye opener when you go so long traumatized in the state of mind being under uncapabilities to the mind of being able to you know expand it as far as like your age is can you know continuously going every year getting older and you guys just totally ruined like a lot of my years it's wasted a lot of my time i mean even one of your fellow friends um co-workers keith sustek came into my life and, and set me up and destroyed my family, separated us. You know, all this just bullshit drama and I'm sick of it. And, you know, all those things that I was saying, is just, it was just because of a consistent, overwhelming torment that I was dealing with. And, you know, hey, you guys may not like it. You guys may not be able to handle it. And I guess it would be like, you know, for your, for your, um, your needs is to arrest me, to throw me back on the news, to lie again, and sit there and say that I'm crazy. And it's not fair because I don't deserve to be mistreated like that all my life because you don't think I'm sexy or because I'm not fucking this type, whatever for you, or it's because I'm just an easy person to fucking take advantage of. It's not okay. And then you got me sitting here like as if like I'm just preparing to go to a, a mental institution or some fucking nursing home. Fucking I want my car back. I want my life back. I want my money you owe me for all those false arrests you made. That's like $650,000. Pay up. Stop being fucking in my life. Get out of my life. And all the shit that I've said, like, why why would you have to arrest me? Why can't someone just come and talk to me about it? And, and why can't uh, any of you try to put forth effort into becoming mature and um, actually talking and communicating about this whole situation instead of the consistent unable, unable, and incapable Leah is unable, unable, and incapable. It's not okay. You know, I'm a person too. I have feelings. I have a life. You know, and it's not okay that you guys are making me sick, putting me to death, and having my, my family fucking tortured for your guys' wrongdoing. For what you do bad, you take it out on me and my family. And that's not okay and it's not fair. You guys need to man up to that shit and stop it. And even though I can't prove it, I know it's true. It's fucked up and it's wrong. <sighs> Fuck that stingray device. Fucking blow it up already and stop with all the bullshit. These kids don't deserve to have you in their, li in the, in their world if this is what it comes down to. And I mean, no wonder why you guys treated me like shit. Fucking no wonder it was so easy for you guys to just keep on fucking taking advantage of me. So inappropriately. And it was all because you knew you were going to have me murdered off. What fucking police department does that? Except for the Brighton, Colorado one. Well, it's the only place I've lived for a really long time since I've been 13 up until I was 38. Here, the past three years, has, has not been peaceful at all. You know, and... and I'm waking up worse. You know, you guys are... You guys are not policemen. You're just pure criminals that somehow got hired onto the police office. Police office and, uh, and get to wear uniforms. You guys are fake. You guys are not even real men. You're like... Some of them are. I'm not saying all of you guys, but the ones that fucked me over, those are the ones who I'm talking to. And thank God I ain't sexy for none of you.